Hey, what's up guys? It's Brandon here with Ballast Home Flipping and there's a amazing dog barking in the background. Um, today I have a big shout out uh, to someone who really understands um, what I, and not just I, but I think in general what Bala Song Flipping and the true community is all about. And um, I just wanted to add or emphasize their talking point because they did such a great job um, and have, like, in my opinion, the perfect outlook. But anyway, uh, if you want to check out their channel, I'm going to put it in the description below. They're amazing. I'm not going to say their name because I kind of want them to be surprised too, but they I'm just going to say right away they're amazing. But anyway, one of the big talking points is that um, how, like, how people get into this community. There's so many different ways that people get into uh, the Balasan community. They could have come from, you know, just collecting pocket knives or seeing YouTube videos or playing video games or um, just scrolling on Instagram or being invited from a friend. There's just so many ways. Um, and I think without you know, without it being mentioned, um, not in an arrogant manner, but I do believe that I've, uh, brought a lot of people into the community, and I just wanted to mention that although it seems good to make people a part of this community, I feel like there is so much toxicness that's going to push people away. And uh, that's the big em emphasizing point that I wanted to add to his uh, discussion because the biggest problem with balisong flipping isn't um, getting people involved. It's getting them to stick around. <laughs> because as much negativity that spreads online today, but especially in such a, a small... A small niche hobby that people tend to uh, start to enjoy right away, you know? It is it is sickening that um, it's almost like there's people that are trying to gatekeep this hobby. That's what it really seems like. It seems like people don't want other people to join. I mean, it really seems like it's set up this way. You got companies that aren't, that don't have any available. They only have really, really expensive ones that the, that the small community can buy into. It's like even the people who are running the show are trying to keep it a small community. Or just can't keep up. And then complain when other companies come out of the woodworks. Um, but yeah, to me, if people are flipping ballot songs or they're getting into it, it's all about just enjoying yourself, learning new tricks, having fun, enjoying yourself. It's just about positivity. And then, then you got this side group that, hold on, the elders, you know? Like, the, the gatekeeping elders that have been around since the dawn of time. <laughs> when Ballast on Flipping first started, way back when. Um, and then, you know, you, these, like, elitist elder people in, in the robes, you know? They're, they're like, yes, uh, none shall pass. No, no one can join. We're all filled up here. Go away. <laughs> but, you know, in an obvious, obviously much nastier tone. <laughs> but, yeah, it's it's like, you know, some, some kid, you know, sees his video game, right? Let's say, I'll give you a good example. Let's say some kid, he's 13 years old, he plays Apex Legends, he sees a butterfly knife, he buys one on Amazon. He, he's never seen any videos. He goes on YouTube, he, he starts looking at uh, videos on flipping, and then all of a sudden he goes on Instagram or, t or TikTok or um, Reddit, and he posts one clip of him, you know, a beginner opener movie, he goes like this, and then someone's going to go, oh, you did that entirely wrong, how dare you, you don't understand anything about anything, what are you doing, this is the worst thing that could have possibly happened, and then you really expect that kid to want to stick around and flip? <laughs> Like, honestly, it's terrible. And, like, you gotta remember that not, not everybody's gonna be able to take that kind of, uh, 
kind of bullying and harassment on the internet. Now me, on the other hand, I'm kind of built for this. You see, I have a great history of uh, getting um, a mouthful, so, and yeah, there you go, there's a meme for you. But anyway, I was going to say, uh, you know, I used to be bullied and harassed a lot, but you know what, I was never bothered by it, and today, nothing changes. And um, yeah, I just wanted to say, like, that doesn't go for everybody else, you know, and I think that at the end of the day, all we want is for more people to be a part of this hobby so that it can all grow and we can all um, grow together and, you know, just like be a good community um, instead of like pointing out to everyone, especially beginners, like what's your guys's problem? Like, God damn, they're just starting out <coughs> a new hobby and that's their welcome. Their welcome is, get the fuck out of here. Like, that's basically the online community to it. And it's very, very, very disgusting. And and anyone who has been negative in this community, you should be ashamed of yourself. Honestly. Like, seriously, I mean that sincerely. How dare you? Um, but anyway. Yeah, that's pretty much this video. And uh, I'll be seeing you guys later. And make sure you... To follow that guy in the description below.